Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a once-in-a-thousand-year eclipse update. The partial lunar eclipse happening this evening on November 19th, 2021, will be the longest since the 15th century, around the time Machu Picchu was being built. To the right is a countdown, which you can locate at the link below, time and date. Now, a partial lunar eclipse will take place on Thursday night into Friday morning in North America. The eclipse will shadow approximately 97% of the moon. The times you're looking at are UTC on this graphic. This eclipse will be one for the history books due to its unusually long duration. This eclipse will be the longest partial lunar eclipse within a stretch of 1,000 years. The last time a partial lunar eclipse was this close to Earth was on February 18th, 1440. The reason is that the moon will be almost at its furthest point from Earth, or apogee, when the maximum point of the eclipse begins the moon's passing through the darkest part of Earth's shadow, and it will take more than three hours and 28 minutes. That's a record. Now, weather permitting, the event will be vis visible from any location where the moon appears above the horizon. And if you went out last night and saw a gigantic moon that looked full, you'll have the opportunity to see the eclipse this evening. And the map and the graphic here, the darkest zone will be the best visibility. And if you're outside of these zones here, there will be no visibility. So all of North America and Canada, most of South America, most of all of Australia and East Asia, Russia. You will all be witnessing the longest eclipse in 580 years. That's quite some time. Now, for East Coast observers, we have this graphic. The partial eclipse begins shortly after 2 a.m., reaching its peak a couple of minutes after 4 a.m. Now, for me in mountain time, that will the peak will be at 2 a.m. With the moon's face largely masked by the umbra. And you can see here a graphical depiction of what that may look like. So you have the western side of the moon going dark, then the northern half going red. This will be a full beaver blood moon eclipse. Say that five times fast. And then the moon's face largely masked by the umbra at the what is almost totality here around 4 a.m. on the East Coast, 2 a.m. here in Mountain Time. And at this point, only a sliver of the bottom left of the Beaver Moon will be visible. On the West Coast, it will begin after 11 p.m., with the maximum covering at 1 a.m. Now, we have a wonderful graphic here. If you couldn't pick up what we just put down there with the times. Although partial lunar eclipses might not be quite as spectacular as total eclipses, this one's going to get pretty close. And partial eclipses occur more frequently. No special glasses are required viewing a lunar eclipse, only a solar eclipse. But the best viewing will be an area where there is no light pollution. So go out, get out there, and look up. If you're on the East Coast, it's going to be early morning around 2 a.m., if you're on the West Coast, it starts as early as 11 p.m. So get out there and witness an all, the longest duration partial eclipse in 580 years. Hope you got something out of the video. It's time to start looking up. And that's a boom. To knowledge. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. We love you. Oh, yeah. And get out there tonight after midnight and look up. That's Bill. Mm -hmm.